Hello quý vị, Amy xin chào. Amy đang uh, có mặt ở tại uh, ở đây là Martin Luther King Jr. Community Center ở ngay downtown Dallas. Ngày hôm nay ngày 19 tháng 6 năm 2021, um, người da màu, người Mỹ đen họ bắt đầu uh, uh, ông Biden ổng ký cái cái lệnh là được lấy ngày hôm nay là ngày lễ gọi là một trong những ngày lễ lớn của quốc gia đó là ngày Juneteenth tức là um, June Thiên viết tắt của June 19 là làm lễ cho cái, um, tạm gọi tiếng Việt là lễ ngày giải phóng nô lệ của thời xa xưa của những người uh, Phi Châu thì uh, ở ngay tại Dallas uh, downtown họ đây quý vị thấy bắt đầu là bây giờ là 10 giờ sáng họ làm rally marching uh, lễ ngày lễ chính thức năm nay 2021 được tổ chức là năm đầu tiên à, ý mi cùng anh đen đào xin được report chương trình này mời quý vị à, tiếp tục theo dõi các cái hình ảnh này đây là tấn đạt ở đây um, I'm here in uh, Martin Luther King uh, Community Center right here it's near Fair Park and uh, they got this whole thing set up there's cars there has to be like 200 cars um, there has to be like 200 cars lined up out there already coming down on Fair Park with it and there's cars coming around here and there a lot of times these all these cars are lined up and all they're giving away uh, promotional stuff from toys to um, you know you have dairy pier a lot of the milk product all these are sponsors for this chiropractor like all the community folks are all coming together to uh, take uh, to have a presence in this um, Juneteenth day in 2021 with it. It's a, it's a new federal holiday with it. One of the things that we, we are doing, you can see each of the companies actually are coming out here and they're doing their um, their volunteering, contributing to the community with, with this event with it. So it's really nice. Uh, I'm here with Encore, of course our needed electricity company, our energy resource with as well. So what's your name? I'm, I'm Andrea Sanders. Andrea Sanders. So uh, what made Encore to be a part of this uh, community to come out and have a presence on a, on a federal holiday like Juneteenth today? Well, because I think this is a very special day, yeah. and I, Encore has always been a part of the community, and, and particularly on a day like today and, and what it symbolizes, we want to be a part of that and giving back to the community uh, and being able to help. Uh, we love that it's bringing people together, and, and what this event is doing is making a difference, and we want to be a part of that. We have been, we've been around for over 100 years, so having the opportunity to connect with our neighbors and, and participate in this amazing event that makes a difference and impacts so many lives, we weren't going to miss it. And uh, what's your name? Estella. So Estella, so you live in the community. Uh, what what does this event mean to you? It means so much that people are willing to share with those that are not not have as much as other, and it's a help to people when times have been difficult due to the pandemic and other events that have occurred. Okay. Here with. Um, the Texas Juvenile Crime Prevention Center oh, oh. that is housed in the College of Juvenile Justice at Prairie View A&M University. Oh, okay. It's a research center. And we are here, in fact this is our second year attending this Juneteenth event and we will be one of the partners housed in the MLK Center beginning August because we're setting up a Texas child and family study that we're going to be doing in this South Dallas community. What's in the bag? Is that scholarship money you give away or what? In the bags, yeah, we just yeah. got some giveaways yeah, yeah. and then we've got information about the uh, study that we're going to be doing and I want to introduce you to our research scientist, Dr. Yeah. Terrence Allen. We're going to be in the community for the foreseeable future. Probably, at well, for the foreseeable future. I mean, the project that we're working on now this is a three to five year project, but we're going to be using this space uh, to sort of engage this community really for as long as they'll have us. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be a permanent research site okay. for uh, the Texas Juvenile Crime Prevention Center. It's one of six sites across the state of Texas. Oh, okay. uh, as you can see down here we have a uh uh, so uh, they're giving away uh, anything from household, trong cái community, từ nhà thờ cho tới mấy em. I see that you have your kids in the car with it. Um, tell us, an uh, well, event like this, what does this mean to the community, to you? Well, it's a blessing that we're recognized as people, that we're important also, and I'm glad we're seen to be celebrated. That's what I love. 
Thank you. Uh, ở bên đây thì người ta cho từ máy sen tố cho tới xà bông uh, rửa chén, dish, the detergent hoặc uh, uh, mấy cái đồ xài trong nhà with it as well. Uh, just really, really, really good stuff with it. Từ um, mấy cái service của cho đàn bà uh, làm ở đây, ha? rồi uh, cho đồ ăn, đây food, ở đây green beans. <cười> Okay. We're here to, to attend, the, the, we attend this event uh -huh. by just giving them some canned goods and having a big smile what we get more today. Yeah, that's the best, that's the best smile. smile. <laughs> Set up the camera, I said, yeah, I like that, I like that. As you can see, uh, ở đây người ta cho như anh chàng này được package từ uh, game, as you can see, my game, Xbox, something like that. Umbrella's Group Staffing, we are um, a temporary staffing company. We have warehouse and light industrial positions. And um, our mission is to build better futures one story at a time. So we like to work with outreach partners and donate our time, money, and resources to help nonprofit organizations as well. So tell us a little bit about this is the first Juneteenth event that we're holding in the community with it. What does this mean to uh, the local communities in the area uh, as somebody as we come out of post-COVID with it and all the jobs are available with it and that's what your job is to do is personnel. Uh, that's what we're doing is was is you're placing people during this time with it where all the time and where all people with shortage and jobs with it. Where does this take us after? Is there a more demand for temporary placement or permanent placement? Um, I mean both, honestly, and we do do you know direct hire and contract labor as well. Honestly, since um, the unemployment benefit has ended earlier this week on the 16th, the additional 600 a week, um, people are you know that maybe haven't worked in a year. You know the unemployment has going to be down, so they're going to have to get a job. So the labor market, there's a big demand for labor, um, and most companies do attempt to hire you know for for their positions with an opportunity to be direct hire after they've worked a period of time with us. It means, I mean, for for all walks of life, right? So multicultural diversity um, for everyone, not just, you know, the people affected by Juneteenth, but as we celebrate outside of COVID, just making sure that we um, pay attention to every walks of life, everyone, right? And help them with jobs. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you, you for being a part of this community. Yes, thank, thank you. you <laughs> thank you. It.